in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as pragmatics, which is the study of the use of language and context. By the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we completed the theory that is known as politeness principle. Today, I'm going to teach you another important theory and pragmatics and that is known as cooperative principle. Listeners and ideas, cooperative principle was introduced by Paul Grimes who is known as uh, important and popular for this work. Remember that Paul Grimes is eminent and popular linguist and philosopher in the field of pragmatics and linguistic. He is best known for uh, two theories, cooperative principle and theory of implication. He developed and introduced cooperative principle in order to that uh, uh, communication and conversation become understandable and relevant. The basic purpose of cooperative principle is that whenever the speakers they communicate so their communication can be relevant and understandable. And the next important point of cooperative principle is they to overcome a misunderstanding in conversation so that the message can be inferred properly. Listeners and ideas, whenever we are coming to the further detail and explanation of cooperative principle, there are four maxims of uh, conversation. There are four maxims of conversation which was presented by uh, <clears throat> the, the maxims were presented by Paul Grimes and that's why they are also known as four maxims of conversation. Listeners and ideas, the first one that is maximum of quantity, second one maximum of quality, the third one maximum of relevance and the last one maximum of manner. So we are going to discuss them one by one. First of all, let's come to maximum of quantity. What does maximum of quantity say? According to maximum quantity, make your contribution as informative as is required. Make your contribution as informative as is required. Do not make your contribution more informative than is required. What does it mean? It means that provide information as is necessary. Do not provide more information than need. Do not provide information out of need. And I think it will be more clear when I provide two examples. Like the first example is related to uh, when a person is forming and acting upon maximum of quantity. For example, a person asks you, who is your favorite poet? So if you answer according to the maximum of quantity, 
So, the answer would be my favorite uh, poet is Allama Muhammad Iqbal. Now, what would be the violation of maximum of quantity? If a person asks you that who is your favorite poet, and you say, I study and like many poets like Khushal Han Khartak, Abdul Rahman Rawa, the Ghani Khan and some others. However, my favorite poet is Allama Muhammad Iqbal. So you are violating the maximum of quantity. Okay. Then we have next maximum that is uh, maximum. Sorry, this is the maximum of quantity. Yes. Then we have next one that is maximum of quality. What is maximum of quality? Maximum of quality says that make your contribution make your contribution one that is true. Secondly, again try to make your contribution one that is true. And secondly, do not say what you believe to be false. And thirdly, do not say for which you lay evidence. What does it mean? It means provide the valid information, authentic information. If you are not sure, then don't say. For example, provide one example, someone asks you that, where is uh, Big Ben Tower? The answer is, it is in London. So you are following maximum quality because the answer is correct and you are sure about the answer. However, if you say it is in Dubai, so the answer is incorrect and you are violating maximum quality. Listeners and items, then we have the third maximum of conversation and that is maximum relevance. Maximum of relevance says uh, be relevant. And secondly, avoid incoherence. For example, be relevant mean that provide relevant information. As you were asked. For example, you uh, went to a hotel or uh, cafeteria and you were asked that uh, how do you like tea? Remember that here uh, a person who asked you is asking about the amount of the tea. So he is asking you that how do you like tea? So the, the, relevant, the relevant response and answer would be that I like the tea with little sugar. And if you are going to uh, violate the maximum of relevance, then the answer would be I like uh, the tea very much. So it is the violation of the tea because you did not provide the relevant answer. And the last one is maximum of manner. According to maximum of manner, avoid ambiguity, be brief, and thirdly, uh, avoid obscurity. A wide obscurity uh, of expression. For example, someone asks you that how can I meet you quickly? So the relevant answer is run and get a bus. Here one important point must be that your response and information must be in proper and chronological order. You must be in 
Your answer must be in uh, sequence in proper order. So, so you say that run and get the bus. But if you say in this response, if you're violating the maximum manner, you say, what would be your answer? You will say, uh, instead of run and get the bus, you will say, get the bus and run. So it is the violation of it. As I told you that your response must be in such a way where there is no ambiguity. For example, you ask someone or someone asks you that did you enjoy the party? And you say that uh, uh, there was a lot of noise and we went there and we talk a lot. People were, children were making noise and there were plumbers, there were a lot of uh, other things. So, you did not answer according to the maximum of manner. Because ambiguity is there, just answer as it was question. So, hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.